Hello everybody, good afternoon and welcome to the United Stands. I'm Mark Goldbridge and we're live for Manchester United against Crystal Palace. I hope you're all ready for this. Um, look, who knows what's going to happen. It's a very different Crystal Palace side that we played on Tuesday night. They will be better. There is no doubt about that. Um, it's a different Manchester United side as well. We've got the return of Rashford, uh, the return of Bruno. Uh, but obviously, uh, as you can see from on the screen there, there are there are limitations as well. Uh, quite quite namely, um, the fact that we've got um, um, Amrabat having to play at left back, Mason Mount playing in the midfield. So yeah, lot, lots to uh, look, look. We've got to win this game. Uh, th that's that's the bottom line. We've got to we've got to win the game, and uh, I'm very encouraged to see Palistri starting on the right hand side. I think. He oh, Rasmus was in, and the keepers clear. The defenders cleared it off the line. I was saying before, AU is always looking for yellows. Need to watch out for him, says SK. Hoyland nearly scored there. Um, cleared off the line. But yeah, look, we need to be careful. Casemiro is on a yellow card. Last time we played Crystal Palace at home last season, Casemiro got sent off. Um, but very close. Man United, well, Crystal Palace went very close with a header. And then Man United have just gone very close as well. Hoyland was through one-on-one. -on -one, um, knocked it past the keeper, but the defender was there. Casemiro is the new skulls with those tackles, says Lee. He's not getting an overlap. And, um, oh, one-on-one. -on -one. God, got stuck under his feet, thank God. Well done, Delo. They could have been through one-on-one -on -one there. Was it Schlupp? Hi, Mark. I've been a member for some time. Love the content. Great community. Just want our club back. Glazers out, says Anthony Stubbs. You're a legend, mate. Thanks for the message. Yellow bathing suit, says Mark. Remember when we used to be 70th minute FC? We would score like goals around that timestamp. With nearly 90% possession, you've got to score. Luton have scored at Goodison Park. Fucking hell. What's going on at Goodison Park? Luton have scored. It's not a drill. Luton have scored at Everton. West Ham have scored against Sheffield United. But Luton have scored at Everton. What, what's going on here? I, I can't speak now. This is incredible. Incredible stuff. Luton have scored a football goal at Goodison. Uh, Everton are winning again. No, sorry, Everton are losing. Jared Bowen scored for West Ham there, home to Sheffield United. But Luton have scored against Everton. I couldn't even name a goal scorer for them. The balance of the team in the attack. You've got, look, well over 80% possession. Oh, fuck off! Get the fuck out! How the fuck has that happened? I mean, this is it. I was literally warning about this. I was literally warning it, warning it. We dominate the teams at home. We did it against Brighton. We did it against Palace. And they go and score first because we're allergic to scoring goals at Old Trafford first. We have to let everybody else into the game. Um, I mean, it's a really good finish. I don't know who scores it for them. But again, again it's just bad marking. It's a good finish, but it's bad marking. And just just unbelievable you know we've got we've had 76 percent possession 91 percent a pass accuracy i don't i don't think he's even hit that that well you know they're talking about an offside we've got absolutely no chance of getting an offside even though there's a defender in the line of uh, of his vision um we've, we've got no chance of that i mean it's the trouble is it's straight at an honor, but I think he's, I don't think he can see it. Uh, just typical, absolutely typical. Bruno, good save by the keeper. Um, we'll, con we'll continue to have these problems. We'll continue to get beaten. You know, we will get beaten badly by somebody again in the next probably two months. Um, I don't think, I think a lot of the problems of United are still there. Um, this inability to create chances consistently in the final third, um, this you know consistent problem of heads dropping, um, but this is Crystal Palace at home. Like this is not Man City. This is not Liverpool. Like we should be beating these teams to have a consistent pattern of play. At least six or seven players. Odegaard Havertz. I thought Saka took the penalties. Why is Havertz taking penalties? Fucking hell, Arteta's such a beg. Oh, I've got to make my new signing work. Let Saka take the penalties. They'll go to VAR. I, we're hoping we're going to get a penalty here for United. Surely, that's a stone wall. 
Let's have a... Let's see. I don't know... Well, I don't know where the penalty is, actually. Rashford's asking for it. I mean, am I right in thinking that the ball travels 30 yards and hits his hand? I don't, I don't, know, I don't, I don't know what's going on there. I'm trying to read the chat. Look... The reason that's a stonewall penalty for me is because the ball travels about 30 yards and hits the player on the hand. I don't care whether he's looking or not. So if I've got my hand up in the box, but I'm not looking and it hits my hand, you know, that's how stupid that is. Like, it can't be about whether the player is looking or not. That's ridiculous. It's about whether it hits his hand and whether he could have avoided hitting his hand. And the bottom line is, it's not our fault that, he's, I mean, he's had, he's had, He's had 30 yards to adjust his position and it's hit his hand and it's obviously, I, I just I just despair. It's a great, great point. Um, they've just nearly scored from a corner, Crystal Palace. They've had, as, they've had good chances as we have. Um, for, front post flick. Um, I've spoken about this before. Um, the bottom line is, it's like Manchester United are like a jigsaw puzzle in the sense that we have had four managers who've spent a lot of money and it gets to a point that with every new manager you bring in, because the club won't sell players, you know, we've seen it with Maguire, he's not a Ten Hag signing, Sancho's not a Ten Hag signing, um, that you, you end up with all these pieces of a jigsaw that don't obviously fit into one picture, but you're asked to put a picture together from all these different pieces of the jigsaw. There's uh, not enough creativity. I mean, Mason Mount's got to score that. That's a lovely cross by Delo, and he's got to score. I fear this is the beginning of the end for Ten Hag. Potter in Cummings is inbred. He's got to score that. He's got to score that. Blame the rain. It's a lovely cross by Delo. It's right on his heads. It's got to score. Mark, we don't... We do we only have a team in the first two thirds because I can't understand the disconnect there in the final third, says Sam. And this is the problem. I think this is the problem. I think the creativity in the final third is so disjointed. Bringing the ball in the box. Oh, I thought it was in. I thought it was in. Ganacho down the left-hand side, doing what he does, making things happen, cross the six-yard box, catches a defender of Palace, looks like it's going to be an OG. Nice little breakaway here. Come on, use it, use it. This is, oh, Martial nearly trips Ganacho up. This is where you've got to score. Better ball. It's got to be a better ball there. We've got them, we've got them stretched. Ah, fucked it. Absolutely fucked it. That That's where you we've messed it up. We've caught them on the break. We've got a 3v3 and we fucked it up because we don't actually know what to do in them situations. This is the whole problem. We don't know what we're doing in the final third. You get into a situation where you've got to move it quickly and make the right runs. Martial ends up tripping Ganacho up. Why are you anywhere near him? You should be going in a different direction. You should be stretching them, giving Ganacho space. And they've won a corner. How the hell is he only adding four minutes on? What the? I can't get my head around this. He's only added four on. I can't believe it. Four minutes. They've been adding ten on when nothing happens. Four minutes. I can't. I can't even Maguire saying there's been six subs. Four minutes. How the hell has he added four? I can't believe it. How the hell is there only four? It's a joke. We're definitely being targeted here. Check this ref's bank account. Um, just absolute shite from United today. I mean, you, you know, we've had 700 passes and four chances. And we've lost. Um, Crystal Palace have won. I, 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 I sort of look at this game and I go... Um, 219 passes for Palace and 